What's up guys, it's your boy Official back here with another video and in today's video I'm going to be showing you some footage of fishing we did a couple months ago in one of the clearest lakes in not only Oregon but maybe possibly in the entire country. Essentially what we did was we went up to this lake and you guys will see this footage, it is insane. You guys have to watch past this intro and into the video to see some of the footage. We got underwater footage, we got fish catches. We went out there for half a day, rented a boat and decided to do some fishing and this lake is crystal clear and and loaded with fish and so we fished for a while got some good footage and you guys will see that down here this lake is I think I could be wrong but it could be up to a couple hundred feet deep or 90 feet or something like that it's a big distance really deep lake there's underwater forests in there as you guys can kind of see in this footage and it's so clear that it messes up your entire depth perception of the lake and it makes you think that you're only looking at 20 feet of water when instead you're actually looking at you know 50 60 40 feet of water and it's I mean it's just it's crazy it's mind-blowing so hopefully you guys enjoy this footage I believe I'm getting a fish already pretty sure it's off all right guys we just got our first hit not sure if he's still on there but yeah he is got him i was thinking we'd be about getting into fish and if this fish isn't in that line which it might be that one might have a fish too This one's actually a rainbow. Looks almost like a stalker, but uh, we're gonna release that guy and uh, try to catch some more. But that's my first fish ever out of this lake. One of the world's cleanest lakes. There he goes. Casted it out and we like are already getting a fish. I think he came off. literally everywhere swimming near the surface. Uh, it looks like this cove is loaded with fish. Over there, there was a bunch more. So I might be down too deep. But this water's so crystal clear, it messes up your depth procession entirely. Like you would look at some water over here and think it's maybe 10, 20 feet, but it's probably 30, 40, or even 50 feet. And it's, it's so clear that you just, you can see everything. Look at that turquoise tropical looking water out there this is actually the head of the mckenzie river which if you haven't seen some of my videos that's where our property is is down there a long long ways but this one of the biggest rivers in oregon that's where we get our water from so you would hope it would be clean like this and it is look at that nice sandy bottom right there you got the like these rock shelves and then it dips a whole bunch and it just gets super deep there's fish everywhere over here actually i can see some over there by that giant rock We're at the complete opposite end of the lodge. That's way over there. This lake really isn't that big, but a lot of stuff to do here. My guess would be it's probably about 30 feet right here at least, probably 40, but it really doesn't look that deep because of the clarity. It's breathtaking though. Look at all these fish right here. I hope that's easy to see. They all look like rainbows, probably stalkers, but that's crazy.
Look how clear this water is. I'll try and get some underwater footage later. There you go. My guess is it's probably 40 feet deep right here, maybe 30. Either way, it's still very deep. And like I said, you can't tell because of the clarity. Wait, stay right here, stay right here. There's a big fish right here. The water's rippling, so I can't see him now. That's a big brookie. Yeah, there was like an 18 inch brookie right there. That was one of the bigger brookies that I've seen. Guess we have to go back that way a little ways. I might be able to see those fish, but I really can't tell. The clearer the water, the harder it is to catch fish. But what I'm trying to do is sight fish these fish right now. It's kind of hard. Fish right there. And you can see sometimes there's a bunch of trees in this lake and some of them go about 50 feet tall that are actually used to be alive until the water came and drowned them or something. But probably 50 feet deep right here. And this isn't even close to the deepest point of the lake. Oh look, there's a little, like a creek or a spring that comes out of there. It's really pretty. All right, where are the fish? Look at that, look at those pretty rocks just glistening off the bottom. And that log, whew. I'd say we're at at least 50 feet by now. We're gonna go try and check out some of these coves. There's several good coves that look like they should be filled with fish. The only problem is when you're trying to sight fish, fish and water this clear is A, they can see you, and B, when it gets windy like this, you can't see anything. Cause you can't tell if it's a fish or a stick on the ground or something else. At the end, I'm gonna try to get some underwater footage, but you should be able to see everything even underwater on this. Should be cool. Look at all these little guys over here. Where there's birds, there's usually fish, so maybe there's some over here. Looks like we're getting a fish over in this deeper area. Got him. I think it's another rainbow. Okay, so he's a small brookie. Well, at least we ended up catching a brookie after all. That was one of my goals. I haven't caught a brook in forever. Look at that pretty little fish. Fortunately, I think, I think he swallowed the hook. Yeah, pretty much. Yeah, he swallowed it so hard. Actually, brook trout, there might be no limit on size, but I'm not 100% sure about that. I'm gonna cut the hook. There he goes. Look at that, you can see him all the way down there. Well shoot, now I gotta put another hook on, but nice. Two species one day. Thought that fish was gonna be bigger, but I'll take it. Oh, the boat scared him away. There was a fish that uh, went straight for my lure. A bunch of them out here, I don't know if you can see. There's a little wetlands area over here and a little channel over there. There's a bunch of nice sized fish right here and they're all gonna spook, but hopefully one of them. Oh dude, look at that, look at that. They're all going for it, feeding frenzy. And I snagged a piece of seaweed. All right, Mitchell, be stealthy. Oh, one of those big ones looks like he's going for it. I just got tapped. Well, there's a fish. There he is. Awesome. I just sight fished one of those guys. Oh, dude, that's a good one. Oh, dude, that was one of those bigger fish. Still not huge, but that's a good sized trout. If I was eating trout right now, he'd probably be gone. Look at that. Oh, that, that's a beautiful fish right there out of one of the cleanest lakes in America. Looks like a wild guy. Wanted to get an underwater release. Let's see, hopefully this guy didn't. Yeah, he did too, didn't he? That is a good fish though. My line's all tangled up, so I'm trying to deal with that. Then I'm gonna have to put two hooks on and it looks like we found the juice spot after all. Oh, I see the hook. Comes out. There he goes. What a beautiful fish. Watch this, this is gonna be, gonna go right into a school of them. Where'd that fish go? Oh, he's, he's there. 
Just kidding. It's seaweed. It was a fish. Yeah, because half the worm's gone. It was definitely a fish. But anywhere out here that I can cast should be good. I'm just going to leave that right there and hopefully we actually stay in one spot. Looks like I had a fish on this rod and didn't even realize it. Got another little brookie. No, it's bigger. Oh, there he goes. At least I didn't have to deal with unhooking him. That one was really pretty. That was prettier than the last one. I'm, unfortunately, I couldn't get a close-up, but I think that's fish number four, and we've lost a couple, so nice. There's another huge school of fish right where I casted. That's going to do it for today's video. Thank you guys for watching. Make sure to go down there, like, comment, and hit that subscribe button and turn the notification bell on so you can see my videos. If you want to see my videos later, hit that colon on the side of the video, save it to watch later. That's what I do with my favorite creators or creators that I watch. So I would recommend doing that if you're busy and still want to keep up on my content and not miss any videos. One of my favorite lakes, it quickly became one of my favorite lakes. Uh, we've kind of made it a yearly tradition to go to this lake and go fishing uh, last year it was in September on Labor Day weekend and this year it happened to be in the middle of or middle end of July we had a great time it was so fun and that lake is awesome when there's when the weather's really nice and when fishing's good and we actually got revenge on this lake because the last time we went here we didn't catch anything and this time we ended up getting four we lost a few more and we've been fishing in that cove the whole entire time we would have caught just freaking tons of them. So, you know, it was awesome. I think that was one of the biggest, most prettiest rainbows I'd caught all year. Those were the first two brook trout that I have caught the entire year. And those are small ones. Like the one I saw, I wish I would have caught that one because it was huge. But uh, yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this honestly awesome underwater footage. I couldn't really see exactly what I was doing. So it's not exactly the cleanest, but a lot happened in this video, I think. And I think it's one of my better videos. So I really hope it gets viewed. Other than that, thank you guys for watching. Stay tuned for more videos. I'm trying to drop videos two times a week. Uh, not really sure how that's working because starting next week, which uh, I don't know when this video is going up, but you know, starting next week, that's when I start my new job. So it's going to be harder for me to post videos. So currently I'm trying to post videos two times a week, pretty much whenever I have time to post videos at this point. So to those of you guys who are consistently tuning in, thank you 
because it helps. It really does. If you know of any friends or family members or just anybody that you think would like my content, like my videos, my adventures, where I go, what I do, make sure to refer this channel to a friend. Let somebody know because that's the only way we're going to grow. We are so close to 50 subscribers and I hoped at this point I would have at least 100, but you know, you can't control that. So the only thing I can do is just keep grinding it out and trying to make good videos and I feel like this is one of them. So thank you guys for watching. See you guys on the next one. Peace.